Welcome to DWBI Adda channel. Please subscribe for latest training videos. Welcome to DWBI Adda Angular Tutorials. Today we are going to discuss about the providers. So what are providers? They are basically services which we create and uh, provider in the term sense uh, in the other term we say which provides data to the components so to generate a provider what we do we go to the command prompt and on command prompt we write ng generate service and the service name so here is the command prompt so this is the project which is running we just turn this project off and write ng generate so here we write ng generate service and the service name the service name could be anything so here we are writing first provider so this name is just for understanding purposes provider is not the mandatory keyword here so after the generation of the provider what we will get we will get a ts file and that ts file we use for api calls for sharing data the another file spec.ts file is not basically necessary but it is basically for the testing purposes which i will discuss in uh, jasmine and karma part of this tutorial series so we will just npm start the project so that we can make changes within the provider and check that our changes which we have made are taking place so so in the code you can see that first provider has been generated and we need to add that first provider to app.module.ts as well so here is the first provider and it is the injectable so it can be injected within a component so injectable means it can be injected within a component and by injecting it we can use it so in app.module.ts we need to import the provider and uh, declare that provider in the provider section of Adred ng module so to import the provider we will write import then the curly braces and pro, pro, uh, provider uh, provider class name from and the path of the provider so to to import it we will write here So why we are importing this within the uh, app.module.ts so that the project knows that this provider exists and it has been installed within the project and this uh, we need to tell the project that this provider is so we will just copy another import statement and paste it and we will change the path and the component so basically the our provider is basically residing on the root of the app folder so we are just typing here first provider dot component and uh, first provider component dot service dot component and we are going to change the class name as well so the first provider class name is basically you can see that it is first provider service we just copy this and paste it here so now the provider has been imported within the app.module.ts we will just copy this keyword and paste it within the provider section so this is very important please note it we are pasting it within the providers section not anywhere declaration and import it is the providers section so after importing this 
we see that compile project has been compiled successfully this means that provider is set within the project now if we go to the browser you can see that it's reloading after compiling so it is it, it, if the page loads properly this means that there are no errors and we have generated and installed provider with the project success so you can see the page has been loaded successfully so now the provider has been generated and configured properly within the project so in next step we will use this provider so in the code you can see so we are going to make changes so here are our changes so i have used some of the import statements as i have already discussed these statements in this uh, previous tutorial as well one of the previous store previous tutorial so here what we are uh, i don't think so this there is a need to again discuss this but basically this http module and http client module has to be imported within app.module.ts otherwise the httpl call won't work so this is an important step that's why i'm repeating it so this is the import within ng modules so we have to import it here otherwise the http calls won't work so this is an important step to remember so over here we need to write npm install i'm just using the browser window just to tell you that what we need to write to add http angular http module within the project so npm install http module hyphen hyphen save we should write this command on the command prompt if if the http module is not installed it is very important so i have already done it i can show you that on top here so you can see that i have already done it and it has been successfully installed so to use http this is the another important step that we need to do otherwise http calls won't work so after this coming on to the provider section side so what we are going to do so after the provider has been has been successfully set within the project we need to import this provider so i again repeated this provider within another component where we are going to use this service so basically we need to go to the component and write an import statement here that we need to import that provider and we write here import curly brace and the provider keyword so uh, class keyword and then we will write the path where the provider exists so provider exists here on app root folder so we will go we are writing a relative path we are moving out from this folder one step and writing first provider dot service dot component and we are going to write its class keyword within the two curly braces so class keyword here is this first provider service so we just copy it and paste it over there so this is how we are going to import the provider and then we are going to use this keyword to add this provider within the project in inside the constructor so we write here public and then any variable name and then the provider class keyword so which we have imported from the service so here i wrote public f provider colon and then the provider class so this is how we have set provider within the another component so now we are ready to use this provider in the another component so you see it is compiling now it has been successfully compiled this means this means that our configuration is properly configured and we are ready to use this provider so stay tuned for the next tutorial in which i will discuss this provider more in detail thank you